Hi everyone, Nikki here, or Nikki's Crochet More. Uh, so this channel is mainly about yarny stuff. Sometimes I might do a video about something else, but I'd say 99%, 98% is going to be um, yarn stuff. So if that's your sort of thing, please hang around. If you're new here, I try to do at least two videos a week, sometimes more, it just depends. Uh, so for this year, um, if you're new to my channel, I'm doing a temperature blanket and I'm doing a square for each month. So I'll have 12 really big granny squares. The months that haven't got 31 days, I'm just putting white in and I'm using Stylecraft Special DK yarn. So I, um, I had the weekend with my parents, so I didn't get around to doing it Saturday or Sunday. Today is Monday. 16th sorry if I sound a bit croaky I think I'm coming down with the cold my throat feels like it's on fire um so I'm just taking it a bit steady making sure to drink plenty and I'll have some cold medicine remedies later on I have to be a bit careful with what I take uh because of my other medical issues so all I can ever really take is Panadol and um the black currant lemsip but that's been really hard to get hold of lately mum tried to get some because she's bless her got the start of a cold so i don't know who's passed what on to who right so onto this blankie i mean square well it will be a blankie so i did put in a stitch marker so we've got days let me have a look uh, so we've got 14 do you know what i can't think it's not 14 is it that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I've got days 7 to um, 15 here. So as you can see, we it's mainly been this purple, the lavender and the turquoise colours. Uh, it's sort of been in the... Uh, I should have made a note. Hold on, let me just get my... um. Pen. Oh no, I've got my book here. I will just show you this. I got it. Um, it was recommended to me by the person that actually does it. And they're on Instagram. It's, I really should read it more. Um, sorry, that's really bad for me. But anyway, I got this book and it's a year in yarn, the temperature blanket journal. Go and check it out. I'm in the UK, but the person's in the States. So obviously you can get it in the States. And on the back, it says, ready for a new project and looking for a way to commemorate. Com so like remember, sorry, my, I'm in trouble. The upcoming year, a special year in history, a birth year, the first year of your marriage or pregnancy. So whatever you're doing your temperature blanket for, a year in yarn, the temperature blanket journal is the perfect tool to help you visualize the year's temperature trends and create a unique colorful creation with plenty of space to record special memories along the way so i'm writing like about what i've done at the moment um but yeah it's a really nice book um oh yeah so okay it's copyright 2022 it's nut nut let me just do that and hopefully i know it might be back to front but hopefully you can work it out and um, for me in the UK, it cost me £7.35, but I'm really liking it. I'm loving it, in fact. Um, so it's got like a colour gauge here for like the States, because I'm in the UK, I'm in Celsius. But I could still write it and you can write a little note there. So as you can see, I'm recording the temperatures, what I've done in a day. Today's really cold. It's only five celsius which i've just looked up is 41 fahrenheit so i don't know if that's cold um like 41 but for us in the uk five is pretty cold but um it's dry so that's something so yeah that's how my blankie is coming along so i'm just gonna put before i forget i'm going to put a stitch marker in so i know where I was and when I see you again I will know the difference again so yeah I just put a little stitch marker in today's colour is sherbet because like I said it's five celsius um I haven't got my book here of what colours are for what but um at least I can tell you what the lavender's for um 
So I think 11, I've got below zero, and then I've got a colour one to five. I will get that book next time and say about it. So I've got extra colours here, um, spares. I want to get some more because I, I'm worried some of the colours might end up discontinued because obviously things are changing. And I know some of those colours have been around for ages. So what temperatures have we had since I last saw you? Um, so let me just have a look. Just in case you want to know, if not, you can switch off. But like for the 8th, it was only 9 Celsius. Uh, the 9th was 9 Celsius, which was turquoise. So yeah, that's that range. Lavender for 13 Celsius. And then on the 11th, we had another bit of a cooler day. So that was turquoise for 10 Celsius. Lavender again. Like I said, it's been a lot of turquoise and lavender. That was for 13 Celsius. I think I've got lavender between 11 and 15, I think. Um, and then on the 13th, it was turquoise because it was only 10 Celsius. 14th, lavender. 12 cents celsius so yeah you can see it's pretty much been fairly stable really for january because it's been really wet it has been horrid um i don't mind it being dry but i don't want it as cold as this i'd like it to be dry and then sort of the 12s 13s but, oh god yeah and then 15th was eight celsius so that was turquoise again and like i said today it's only five celsius and that would be sherbet which is this lovely colour. So in case you haven't seen the colours I've chosen, I will just go through them again. So I've got Sherbet. And let me get a couple each time. Um, and then I've got Turquoise. I've got Fiesta here for really hot days. So can't wait to use that eventually somewhere. Um, and we've got Cloud Blue. I think that I've got that for zero and below i think if i was doing this blanket again i would probably change um some of the in increments is that right yeah increments for um it so if i did it again i wouldn't have like below zero because that doesn't really happen very much here so i'd have um maybe like five and below rather than um the zero and below you know there's just little things i change and also i don't know if i said but when i've been doing my granny squares for some reason i don't know why i did it this time but i did a chain two between the clusters normally i do a chain one so it's come out really um holy but that's fine that doesn't bother me too much but there's just little things i think i would do differently and then the other colors i've got violet lavender <laughs> We have bright pink. <laughs> so I did go for like pinks and teals and lavenders in this. And then we've got fondant and then just the white, which is pretty much white, which you can see there. So, yeah, those are the colours I've got. But I, like I said, today I'm going to order a couple more balls of each one just to make sure I've hopefully got enough. Uh, I'm just trying to think of anything else. I'm just going to have a quiet day do today's round on that and I'm still working on my fireside blanket but I will do that in a separate video I'm waiting on some yarn mini skein yarn from Etsy I know I really shouldn't have spent it but I really want to try and get that mini skein blanket it's for me so it doesn't need to be majorly long but it definitely needs to be bigger than it is now and um, this would probably be all the yarn I get for it because I dread to think what it's cost me because um, if you don't buy mini skeins, they're about three to four pound and there's a lot of skeins in there. I think I worked out so far, it's probably a hundred odd pound plus. So it's a pretty expensive blankie for me, but it's me <laughs> and I deserve it. Um, so yeah, I plan to get that finished. I'll also do my weekly video of what I'm working on uh won't be the temperature blanket because I want that to have its own videos but I'll be showing the fireside blanket and some other things just yeah so I'll do like a weekly 
update of how I'm getting on I really need to get on and get that listed somewhere and so that might be Wednesday's job it just depends on how I'm feeling because at the moment my throat is just killing me um, and it's making me feel really quite tired but anyway you don't want to hear about all that um, yeah so I will see you all soon take care have a good week bye